very good morning to all of you and a very warm welcome to the State Courts. And I'm delighted that you have decided to spend a day in court with us. This seminar is specially designed to give you a better understanding of the role of the State Courts and, in particular, the work that we do here. Gentlemen over there, shout out your answer. What is the answer? Fairness. Fairness. Okay, firstly, intimidation and indirect violence is when the perpetrator breaks or destroys objects so as to make the victims distress. Another form of harassment is verbal harassment. So this is where someone is chronically criticizing another person, demeaning them, slandering them, and gossiping about them. One role in the court. Court officer. Court is correct. Court, is correct. court officer. Now I'm gonna hand over the time to Samantha, and she's gonna take us through some of your submissions. These are some of the answers that um, I like. Okay. Uh, firstly, Group M mentioned to talk to a trusted adult. Okay. As they talk to a trusted adult, they will seek proper guidance on and actions to help them with cyberbullying. So these are, for example, teachers, friends and counsellors. Yeah. So that's what we will agree, uh, we would advise to do. In case of criminal remedies, when the harassment is very, very bad, sometimes the harasser can even be jailed or in lieu of jail can be fined or even both. The protection order is an order by the, by the judge to tell the perpetrator to stop harassing the victim. The court can even order internet intermediaries such as Facebook, such as Instagram, such as, uh, I don't know, TikTok, right? To stop publishing the false statements. This is uh, available in, in the protection from harassment court and if you face such harassment, you can actually avail yourself of these remedies. Harassment can happen even with your loved ones, even with your friends. So if you see, there could be different outcomes of what happens when parties come to the court. Um, you could be given an order, but you are not guaranteed that you can actually get a court order. If parties are actually seen to be in a situation where they could settle um, amicably through mediation, the court will direct them for mediation. And put your hands together and welcome District Judges Diana Ho and Zendra Lui on stage and they will administer the Q&A segment. We're both from the um, Community Courts and Tribunals cluster. So we do hear harassment cases, employment disputes, salary claim cases, small claims as well as neighbour disputes. In our cluster, most of our cases, uh, they are self-represented persons, so they don't have lawyers. So, I think it takes them a lot of courage to actually come to court and fight the case. So, for us as judges, I think we deserve to um, listen to what they have to say justice for the case. I hope your day in court has been fruitful. You learned about the role of the state courts, about the work we do. You also learned about harassment, cyberbullying, and what you can ever do uh, if you are faced with such a situation, heaven forbid. So I hope that you've had a better idea uh, about the state courts, um, and more importantly, that we've managed to equip you with some simple but practical tips that you can put into action should you or any of your loved ones or friends in your social circles encounter harassment or cyberbullying.